This is for my functional skills students who may have been finding uh, the database part uh, slightly difficult. Uh, I am going to demonstrate using the online mock sample two. Uh, in task six, the, sec the club secretary wants you to contact some people on the class inquiry list. And uh, you need to download the files you have been given. Uh, and then use the database software to import the information from the class inquiry list. So here the class inquiry list is coming again and again. So it's something we have to pay attention to. Create a query to find interested in a beginner class for street routines. So we have to create a query. This is what we have to do. We have to create a query. And that query has to be for uh, beginners street routines. Create a query beginner class street routines. So it's going to depend on our data. You need to paste a screen print, a screenshot of the design view of the query into the evidence document yeah and then create the, uh, use the query to create a report show only the title last name first name initial address one address two town co county and postcode on the report but first we must design the query and the criteria for the query is going to be we want to find those interested in beginner class for street routines street routine so the, the two terms will be the foundation for our queries the criteria so we are looking for uh, for beginners class and street routines uh, we have to find the class inquiry list. Let's get started. Uh, all right, it will be in street dance, and uh, let's say we are going to create a folder called database. You need to create folders as you go along. And uh, we need to create a database that database so right click new Microsoft Access database and the name of that database is going to be class inquiry lists the names will depend based on the scenario so F2 class inquiry lists We'll open the database then after opening we'll be importing the data into the database okay so we need to be importing the data when we need to always click and enable content then we need to import but which data are we going to import if we go to the street dance data files class inquiry list is what we need to import so to import which menu do we need on the ribbon tab file home create or external data it is external data we have to bring data from external source from another file and it's going to be a text file if we actually check the file it looks like this the data are separated by a comma can change the font here to make it bigger for us to see the data are now separated with a comma and uh, so when we import we'll communicate that we are going to import the source data into a new table in the current database we have to browse and find the text file containing the source file 
which you are going to be given on the computer uh, on during your exam class inquiry list is what we want in this case and click OK oh I have a problem here I am going to okay I'm gonna try to import it from another source I'm going to try again ah I have been unlucky all right uh, you know what I'm going to download the file again uh, I was trying to use what I downloaded before I will download the f class inquiry list uh, I'll copy all of it and create a new file I'll even save it somewhere else for this case and close this one try to import uh, all right okay it has worked this time okay uh, so if you get a problem during the exam for example if you get a bad it's good that I got the error it's something that can happen IT can uh, uh, always fail so you need to find the solution uh, my solution is now I downloaded the file again I was trying to use what I downloaded in the past there may have been some errors on it because it has been saved on my USB or any other reason but uh, I have recreated the data when you try to download it uh, in uh, using Google Chrome it comes like this but you can copy and paste it to a text file just make sure you include also the first row when you copy it so delimited delimited means you know the how the data is separated characters such as comma or tab uh, our data is not separated by tab it is separated by a comma so we'll indicate that later here it is comma separated it's not tab it's not semicolon the data is separated with a comma so we'll choose this one and make and first row contains field names so we'll make sure that sticks as well because that's how it is it title last name first name these are the field names or the column names so the first row contains the field names and next and next and I don't want to add any primary key next class inquiry list is the name of the table import to a table a new table created once the table is created the first thing I need to do, do is go to the design view change the attributes even though it is not asking on these tasks it may ask you on some other tasks so just make to make sure you are you know how to do it go to home and view and design view title hmm, the longest it can be is maybe 25 last name again 25 first name the longest it can be is 25 initial 2 maybe 1 uh, address 55 address 2 55 town 25 county 25 postcode maybe 12 class style 25 too big but 25 and age is a number long integer fine I'm happy with that uh, before I do any more work I need to be able to know what kind of data I have here the titles are here like written like this last name first name initial one could have been enough address one address two town county postcode uh, class style class style for example it could be street if we make it bigger it's not only street routine street routines there is s there uh, and class type beginners advanced yeah remember the question 
the question asks us to create a query to find those interested in a beginner class for street routines uh -huh. so we have to create a query uh, create to create query create and query design we can use the wizard but not recommended easier to create a query in design view and it also asks you to print design view screenshots so it's the best way for no no sorry Qu no that is not what I want to do sorry don't do what I did create and query design add I want to add all the fields I'll double click here and drag them down here together all of them are included here and from the data we have street routines that's one of the requirements that is street routines is for class style so under class style street routines and the class type is going to be beginner okay so we have to type beginner uh, here it's crucial we get our typing right so we are looking for uh, beginner street routines right so file save as save object as we want to save the query object in inside the database so we are looking for street routine beginner and click ok so that is a query and uh, you would sc take screenshot of that uh, you need to download the evidence document open it enable so a screenshot of the design view of the query is going to be included here oh sorry that was a wrong screenshot print screen all right that's the design view and the report uh, for as required we are required to create a report using the query uh, show you the question again uh, use a query to create a report show only the title last name first name initial address one address two town county postcode during the exam maybe switching between the two screens could be hard for you so what you could do is you write those maybe on paper ask if you are going to be allowed to write on another paper uh, those items write them and uh, uh, then you go to reports create report wizard would be the best way to create a report and using the query class inquiry street routines beginner uh, we need to add the title and uh, last name first name initial address one address two uh, town county and postcode in the query class type and class style were were used there was no even any need to add the age in the query but here those three items are not needed so we are not going to add them uh, and next so the title is go uh, do you want to add any grouping no I would want to sort it by surname maybe landscape perhaps tabular you can experiment with all of them but I'm gonna choose tabular that's what I prefer uh, street routines beginner finish okay and uh, you can see the address too, even though it is almost empty it takes so much space so you can actually resize items address to
view okay you could go to design view add today's date and your name here using the control a and the dates view design view okay uh, you would in need to include that design into your screenshots your complete report and you'd save that into your database folder query and report if I save it with that okay and then you would click here on the blue icon and upload but you, you don't have that facility as part of the mock but that's what you would do you'd click it there and you'd save it but make sure you close the file before you try to upload it make sure you don't include unnecessary screenshots so that it is too large to upload uh, so that is what's required make sure the report is clear and is read paste the screen print of the show into the evidence document provide upload the complete evidence document click here to download the evidence document and then you up, you know click to upload the complete document yeah uh, so that is what is required from the database once you finish you close the database yeah uh, during your exam you may be asked to down upload the database itself then you need to make sure it's closed and upload it whatever you are asked during the exam it's very important you read what's required you do it you submit what's required and uh, you check using what the tasks given so that is how you do the database part uh, we had to uh, import first the class inquiry list file yeah using the external data and text file import from text file after importing it we had to the table is created and then after that the query is created in the query we had to use the criteria the criteria we use for the query uh, if I open it again just to recap Okay, so this is a data sheet view. I can click on home view design view and here all the fields you know the tables we are, what we are going to use included first and then the field selected also the criteria also included. Okay, so this is the design view of the query and this is a report. The query is more for database expert whereas the report is for everybody thank you very much